What is good everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to animate landscapes. So first thing first, we're going to go into Photoshop to separate our different layers. So what I'm going to do is simply try to separate the grass from the sky and the mountains. So I'm going to do just that right now. I'm going to make a whole selection like that with the character. And what you're going to have to do is simply click on Ctrl C then Ctrl V. It's going to separate the grass from the other rest of the picture. Now, go back to the original picture, make a rough selection around the specific piece that you just selected and just make sure to not miss any pieces. And we're going to do that in order to delete it from the original picture to have a clean plate behind him. So this is good. So I'm simply going to merge my generative fill layer with my background. And what I'm going to do is simply also separate the mountains from the sky like that as you can see it has been separated and what I want to do is simply just remove the mountain from the sky all right so now our three main layers has been separated so we can simply start saving our Photoshop file and you can open an After Effects project and what you're gonna have to do is simply import your Photoshop project inside of it now what you can do is simply double click on the pre-composition and as you can see you got all of your layers already positioned so what i'm going to do is simply convert everything into 3d so i'm going to do just that with my plugin called 3d5 pro you can do it by hand but i found it quicker this way so i'm going to click on this the link will be in the description by the way if you're interested and now what i'm going to do is simply just adjust the room size and make the position of the camera a little bit closer and now what I'm going to do is a simple animation. So I'm just going to zoom in like that. Okay. And I'm going to pull out the Automation 3D plugin that is in the same bundle of 3D5 Pro. And I'm going to select the Zoom Out preset and simply just apply it to my animation. Let's say how it goes. It doesn't go as far as we want to. So just let's pull the strength up a bit. Okay, and I'm simply gonna make it last longer. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is simply click on this button right there to make the animation a lot smoother. And I'm gonna select a custom graph, like so. And I might even make it longer. And yeah, as you can see, it was pretty easy and simple to do, and the result is pretty good. So I hope you, you guys like this video, and if you guys want to learn more about the plugin that I talked about, don't hesitate to watch this video right there. I'll see you guys later. Let's go.